Want to see a coin trick? Here I got, well, you know what though? I can't use this one because this one's busted. Like this one, sometimes you want to drop a coin. This one only falls up. Every time I try and drop it, it only falls up. I knew as soon as I got it, something was wrong because it only just falls up. It's so stupid. Here, you take a look at it. See what I mean? Totally broke. Creative life skills will help you be creative if you do them. Um, creative life skills will make you a more interesting human. I love the rule of threes. That basically is the rule where things come in threes. Threes seem right. You could do four, you could do five, but if you repeat this trick too many times, people are going to be on to you. But I've found that if I do this trick three times, people can't, they don't have enough time to process how you did it. And as soon as they think it's a move, then you make the coin disappear and then they have nowhere to go. Psychologically, their minds are just blown. So uh, I start with the muscle pass. But basically how I like to begin this routine is I like to start with a handful of coins and then I just pull one out. Doesn't matter which one, just one of them. So now I've got a coin. I say, I, I would like to show you a coin routine. So I start with the three coins. I go, hey, can I just show you a coin routine? Uh, you wanna see some coin tricks? And this takes people off guard already because, well, yeah, show me a coin trick. And they say, but you know, bummer is I can't do it with this coin. And that's always sort of a, a way to kind of psychologically get your audience off guard because you're gonna say you can't do a coin trick with this coin. And then of course you do, <laughs> you do, you do a bunch of coin tricks with just this single coin right away. Uh, you're making it fall up three times and then it goes away. So, uh, wanna see a coin trick? Yeah, okay, well, bummer is though, I can't use this one because this one's broken. This is a busted coin. Because every time I try to drop it, it falls up. Okay, so here's the move. This is called the muscle pass. The muscle pass is based on the classic palm. If you have questions about the classic palm, I do have, check out my, my video on palming. Uh, but essentially you're, you're gripping the coin in between the muscles of your thumb and this fleshy part of your hand over here. So right here and right here. And if you've been watching any of my videos at all, you know that I've become a fan of the dollar size coins. You can do this with a quarter. You can do this uh, with a silver or a, a half dollar, like a Kennedy half dollar. But I've been liking these silver dollar size coins. And what I got right here is a Morgan. And, uh, and, and if you've got an Eisenhower dollar, same size, same thing. It's just as good. So uh, basically what you're doing is you're taking the coin and you, you learn how to just sort of position it where you can grip it really, really hard between the muscles of your thumb and the muscles of, I guess it'd be your pinky and your ring finger. But right here, this fleshy part. So you've got, this is, look at, you can sort of see I've, I've made like <laughs> marks on my hands just because I do this. I've been doing it all day. Uh, so I'm like this. And then I want that coin to rest right in there. Now here's the thing, uh, you know, where I would palm a coin like this, what you want where for the muscle pass is for this to go just on the edge so that if I'm applying pressure. Now I'm, I'm holding it tight, really tightly. So this is, I'm, 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 it's ready to burst out of there. But now if I just move my thumb back, doink, do you see that pop? It's like the, it's like the classic palm. And then you kind of jostle it a little bit so that it's just, this is your trigger. You're, you're pr applying a bunch of pressure right against this, this thumb muscle right here. And you want it to basically be on there so that if you move this thumb that away back, watch, it pops out. You want that to happen. It's like that. After a while, and you, by the way, even if you get a little bit of height, this is good. You're not gonna get this maybe even the, the first day. This is knacky. This takes a little bit of practice. Uh, it, it's, this is like any good coin trick. This is the kind of thing you can watch TV and you can do this. You can just sort of be sitting in the couch, not bothering anybody. Everybody who knows me knows I am fiddling with a coin just about every time I'm sitting still. <laughs> so it's this, this is my fidget spinner, you know, I'm, I'm fidgeting with a coin. So again, this is what it looks like. Now, if I move this thumb back, you're going to get it to jump like, like so.
Now, you can get some real height on this. Sometimes, just if you're just moving your hand up just a little bit, not even very much, but just like this. So again, too, uh, I can just show you the mechanics here. It's basically the thumb. The thumb is the trigger. So if you're pulling that away, boink. Now, when this thing shoots, you want to be able to catch it. So let's talk a little bit about the catch. I tend to catch like this. Some people go like this, but for me, I feel like it just sort of looks cool if I can, you know, it's, I guess my, my hands are <laughs> like this. Okay, I got so distracted, I forgot to actually talk about the catch. So generally, uh, I am putting my hand about 12 inches above my shooting hand. My catching hand's about 12 inches up. Now, if you are one of those superhuman people who can like muscle pass a coin like three feet up in the air, maybe you're gonna hold your hand higher. It's gonna be different for everybody. For me, it's about 12 inches. This has, you know, worked pretty well. That's the idea, and this takes a little bit of practice too. You're gonna wait to just sort of get a feel for what it's like to catch something palm down like this. We aren't, it's kind of a weird way to catch. We're not often used to it. So what I would do is I would maybe just throw your, throw the coin up to your hand. Just get used to this, just to exercise this hand. If you can just sort of exercise that hand by just tossing a coin up at it, this is gonna be great practice just for your left hand because your left hand needs a little bit of attention too. That's basically it. Just getting used to catching something with your palm side down like that. That's most of what you need to know with the catching hand. Okay, so once it's here, you can show everybody, see it's in there. Here, could you just check out the coin? I want you to take a look at the coin. I've stolen the coin. Okay, so now I've taken the coin. So once you do your muscle passes, and by the way, I say three times, rules of three really, really is a, a, a great rule to follow here. Once I've shot the coin the last time, I can show this to the audience. See, it's totally broken. And now what I want you to do is, if you, if you haven't already, I want you to go and check out my uh, heel clip vanish video because I'm going to go 10 minutes into great detail on the heel clip vanish. And, but basically what that is, is you're moving the coin into this position and then stealing it with these two fingers. But I got way more detail on that in the heel clip vanish. And essentially that's the routine and I love this routine. And by the way, you can, you can then ditch the coin once, once you uh, make it vanish and you say, here, can you just check it out? I want to hand this to you. As soon as you do this, I have ditched the coin. It's gone. You know, I've, and you, there's any number of ways to ditch a coin, but uh, gone. So anyways, just some thoughts that I had there on the muscle pass going into the heel clip vanish. This to me is a worker. I use this to begin my coin routines. Once I do this, I can go into a, another single coin routine where I'm making the coin, you know, pop and bop all over the place and then maybe come out of somebody's ear or it's under a glass. And then I can start going into like three and five coin routines uh, that keep everybody's attention for a longer span of time. If you found this useful, I hope that you will give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.